Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miera Jennings and in this DIY video, I'm gonna show you how I turned this into this. Stay tuned. All right guys, some of my favorite projects are for jeans and denim and I have been excited to experiment with exposed frayed seams for a while now. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I am using my sewing machine, fabric scissors, and sewing clips. That is it. For more information on these items, just scroll down to that description box. And let's get started. First, I am laying out the jeans and folding them in half so that the pant legs are one on top of the other. Then I am taking my fabric scissors and I am going to cut horizontal lines three places to create four different sections. After I did this, I definitely think it would have been mad cute to do diagonal cuts as well, but the straight lines still ended up pretty cool. So after that, I am just opening the jeans back up and placing those pieces in their proper positions. Another thing you could do at this point to kind of add some flair is to take a few of these pieces and bleach them so that you have contrasting colors within each panel. I think that would have been really cool too. All right, and once all of those panels are in place, it's time to clip them all together. Now it may feel unnatural to clip the wrong sides together, but that's exactly what we want to do with this project because we want the seams to be exposed. This is gonna be really important once we wash them and it's gonna fray up nicely and look really cool. Well, once all of those pieces are clipped in place, just flipping it over and doing the same thing to the other side. Clipping the edges wrong sides together. And now let's head on over to the sewing machine and sew this bad boy together. Now for this project, I am using a double overlock stitch instead of a single line stitch because I wanted some extra security since those edges are going to be frayed later on and I don't want this falling apart. And now I am just carefully sewing all of those edges together, about a half inch to an inch up from the edge. And this is what it will look like when it's done. As you can see, it's already starting to fray, but we're about to pop it in the washer and make it even more emphasized. And I'm just washing these at regular jean setting, which I usually just use cold water. And as you can see, after one wash, they already look amazing. I am so freaking excited. And just to accentuate that fraying even more, I popped them in the dryer for a while. And this is what they're looking like, guys. I am so pleased with this. I gotta go try them on. Let's go. is it guys it's crazy what you can do with a pair of scissors thank you so much for watching please drop a comment below to let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see me diy next if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you never miss a diy video and i will see you guys in the next one bye it is so hot